Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pedran here, and today I'm teaching you how to add your own custom map to your server. Let's get started. So I'm already located on my client folder and on my emulator folder. Right here, I also have these documents open. Let's start with map index. The maps index is located on zero on the DB. So let's go to our emulator. And here is the emulator folder. I go to DB and let's check. After we go to import and map index.txt import and map index.txt right here we are going to add the map so let me open here the map name that i want to add is mario now I need to check once again. Let's open here the map. So it's uh, Mario Land 1. And here I need to place the same name. Mario Land 1. Let's double check. And yeah, that's correct. I'll copy this for now. And now we are going to our emulator side this time. Uh, they are both located on emulator. And here we need to go to conf and maps itina. So let's go back to our uh, emulator folder. And this time we are going to Confi and Mapsitina. So is the one dot conf and you can open right here. So now I will add the map and paste the the same name here perfect now we save this we need to move one more file in order to make it works so let's go to our conf and actually return one folder right here we need to go into db import and we have something called map cache I will open the map cache from the import folder. Okay, this um, this program map cache by Tokay is actually in the description of this video. And here, every time you update the gets, you need to uh, bring your map here. So now I will actually go to my client folder. And inside data, I have the Mario Land here. This is the map. And I will drag the RSW. And at this moment, it's important to have all the map files together. Okay. So now I'll bring the Mario Land 1.RSW and dr drop actually on my map cache and you can see that overwrite and um, and then you go ahead file and save every time you open the program make sure you are on the correct folder looking up here and after you save which i don't need to save it again um, 
your map is actually installed to the server. And from this point, we actually run the server. So what I'm going to do now is to run my server here. And I'll be back in a second. All right, after the server actually runs, I can now test the mapping game. So I'll launch my um, RAGAXI here and log in and check it out the map. All right. Okay, uh, I need now to add warp and Mario land one. And you can see that we have uh, warped. I need to add the mini map here. And as you can see now, everything is actually uh, black. But what I'm going to do is to add the sky map into this map. And I'll have a showcase video on this. We will also be free for download. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you add your custom map to your server. Thank you so much for watching. It is the speed run here. Join my Discord community. It's really, really fun. People are really great right there, helping each other. And Ragnarok is a art. Remember that. Uh, you need a lot of study, practice to understand how to set up this. Okay, I'll be staying here. And peace. Good luck out there.